There we go. Oh. oh. Hey everybody, what is going on? Ruby with Texas All Water Fishing. And the other day I went out and fished a buddy of mine's lights. And I was throwing a rattle trap. Now, if you previous if you watch one of my previous videos, I was out there kind of doing the same thing and fishing the rattle trap. Right on. Oh right on. That's my first fish on a rattle trap. Okay. Now I've had a few questions about throwing these rattle traps about like what color do you select what color do you fish with well i bought a quite a few of them from academy now i did buy i believe the brand is a rattle trap brand but these two colors and these two sizes have been what the fish have been really hitting on and most effective somebody else asked if they can buy or they have some that they use for freshwater now this is a freshwater one i can't remember the name brand but this is a freshwater one here and i've thrown it a few times too i've caught like a couple little maybe little sand trout little dinks on it but i throw it as well one of the things that i would recommend is when you're buying something freshwater or even like even like the spoons i do this a lot with the spoons but i will change out this hook and i'll even change it out this this split ring and the reason for that is you know i'll change the hook and put a like a 2x or 3x you know something stronger and the reason for that is because if you catch a nice big red sometimes it will straighten out that hook so if you're banging on trout and that's what you're really targeting then i wouldn't too, be too worried or concerned about changing out the hooks but definitely if you're going at the reds i hadn't changed this hook out by the way in case you know you're wondering why it's that color and not that color but these other rattle traps the actual rattle trap brand i haven't changed out the hook hooks on these either and i haven't had any straight now but all right um one of the techniques that i am doing now this is kind of i don't know you know i didn't wasn't even too sure if i even wanted to make a video on this footage because a lot of times i will go fishing i will just go hang out with the guys i'm not doing a lot of commentating i'm just out there just really just fishing and tossing the line and just having a good time and hanging out and that's what has happened these last few trips out there when i am fishing the lights is i'm just kind of hanging out and enjoying myself so there's not a, a lot of commentating for you guys so i do apologize on that i'll probably switch on here and narrate just a little bit but thanks for coming back i don't want to hold you guys up too long make this too long of an intro but i do appreciate you guys we're going to switch over and start the footage now don't forget to like comment subscribe and share there we go. Oh, oh. Faith, one. Ooh, it's already doing it. Uh, uh, red. That's a nice red. That's red. But he won't listen to Billy Ray. His God service. <laughs> Land God from the pier. Pier God. Walk it over. Take it easy. Take it easy. Here, roll this one over. Where are you at? There he is. 19 inches right here. Yep. Yeah. He's undersized. Nice still. Nice. It's still a fat ass. Red oh, red. sorry, Peach. That came all the way out of the Was water. Was that a, a, a ladyfish? It looked like a ladyfish the way it came out the water, didn't it? It's a little red, though. No, it's not. So I am casting quick. I am not letting, giving it too much chance to fall. I'm doing a straight retrieve. I'm not going too fast. I'm not really slowing it up either. Kind of just finding that just that good rotation, that nice steady pace, and letting the rattle trap do the work. That's a ladyfish. I tell it's fighting. Oh sh! Trout. It's a little red. No. Is it? Trout, dude, give me the get net. Get the net, get the God, net. It, no, it's a little red, ain't it? Trout. Oh, it is a speck. Oh, Golly, it came out. Oh. Do you see how high it came out the water? <laughs> I'm sorry I wasn't recording. Is. What? That's <laughs> nice. 
That is a nice one. What? That is a nice fish. H2O inshore rod. That's a nice fish. Thick though. Look how look how look how much girt that thing has. That is a very thick or thick fish. Up a little bit in the water. I will. I'll get all the way down here. No, she's ready. Oh my gosh, she was ready. See, she's playing playing games. Soon as she soon as she saw that water. Hey. <sighs> Dude, you hey, see it come out of the water though? Hey, put your top water on. That's awesome. Oh, that cast was beautiful. On the corner, mm -hmm. I'm gonna come right through the lights. Yep, see that thing looks good, Walt. Walt, put it up in the light real quick. Put that up in the light. Oh, there you go. There you go. No way. Oh. There you go. Oh my God. There you go, B. Here, Walt. Here, Walt. Tip up. Tip up. Go. Keep that tip up. Don't no slack. Reel it. Reel it. Keep the tip up. Be easy with it. Be a little easy. Oh, that's a good one. Easy. That's easy. a good one. Get that net. It's gonna be a good one. Is it a trout? Ooh, it looks like a trout. It looks like a big trout. Oh, a nice red. Oh, is it red? That one's coming out here. He knocked the shit out of it. He ain't the biggest, but he's beautiful. Nice. There you go. Nice. Let's rescue him. You get the Good big... job, Walt. Woo! <laughs> Party time. <laughs> Why can't I just sit here and not catch fish? <sighs> yeah? GoPro, start recording. Oh, no GoPro, start recording. Oh, Damn, no. that was twice. That was two of them. That means he GoPro, start recording. No way, dude. That's, that's a nice one. one. That's, that's a, a nice one. red. Oh, he got off. No. Yep. No. He got off. Dang, I thought he was on too, man. He must have slipped, dude. That was a good one. <sighs> that, was a that was a nice one, dude. That was a nice one. Oh, get man, I can't even get her. Huh? Get your top water. Nah. See that? Mm-hmm. That's the perfect, that's the hatch. God, it got off. Golly, right by the dock, too, right here. It's right in front of us. Mm-hmm. Dude, that's a big bait getting nailed. Mm-hmm. That's the big one's getting nailed. It's a big old horse mullet. Whoa, 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 look at that big trout. Dang, I see the swirl. Whoa. I didn't miss them, but I saw whoa. the swirl. He was chasing it. That was 25 inches. He was chasing it. That was a big mullet. He was chasing your bait. No, he wasn't. He was chasing a big ass mullet. I thought because maybe you just pull your bait out of the water. He there was he is. chasing your bait. There he is. You got him? Trout. It's going to be real easy with him. Trout. Yeah. Keeper. Oh, Speckler. On the what? First fish on this hover shad. <laughs> Look, he's almost as big as the bait. Look at that. Yep, there they go. Right next to us. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, Look at that. <laughs> almost as big as that. Yeah. Look, he's smaller. He almost barely made it. Hey, I hope you appreciate the footage. You know, I had a great time out there. Now, there is one thing that I'm trying to figure out out there. Now, a lot of times you'll have those speckled trout. They'll come into the top of the water surface 
and they'll come and bang or hit bang on some shrimp or even like the little shad they'll even come and just really i don't even know what they're hitting there's nothing there so they'll come and maybe hit the bugs i'm not too sure but they'll come and hit the water surface and go back down up and down up and down i haven't quite figured out how to hook up to those guys yet i've thrown top water kind of scares them the cork scares them i have free lined i wouldn't say free lined shrimp but i have some shrimp lures by texas rattler and i think what i'm gonna do with those i put those on a jig head before and i think it just falls too fast so what i think we have to do with that is like maybe just put it like on a straight j hook and maybe do like a split weight on it to a small split weight to try to keep it in that top water column and see if if that works eric went out there like you saw with some gope and he was able to get a few dinks kind of kind of trying to trying to target that that upper water column and get those those trout but i mean i don't know i can't figure it out so well, i'm gonna keep trying keep fishing out there i mean i threw saw plastics i threw spoons i threw voodoo shrimp voodoo shad mamba mullet i threw a lot of stuff and try to keep it in that upper water column and you know I, I can't i can't find them i can't i can't figure out and get them to react there's a lot of fish out there sometimes and there's a lot of specs out there so just you know i'm just keep throwing and keep trying to figure it out for you guys and so hopefully i can hook up and and share that information along with you in case you're in the water somewhere and you're kind of seeing and experience uh similar activity from the fish but thank you thank you very much thanks for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe share hopefully next time you catch me hooking up